Hey beautiful dolls, what's going on? So as you guys can see, this intro is a little different. Um, I filmed an intro with the other clips, but it was just too bright. I really was not feeling it. So I decided to just put up my lights and hold my camera in my hand. So as you guys can see, this is a very springy look. It's a purpley, pinky bold lip which is Kat Von D's LUV and my eyes are pinky champagne -y color um, but before we get into the tutorial I want to let you guys know the video that I uploaded yesterday I decided to delete it because I was not feeling it um, so I'm going to redo it and upload it hopefully next Friday or the following week but I'm not gonna talk anymore let's jump into the tutorial Okay guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by priming my eyes. I'm just going to take a paper towel and rub the oil off my eyes. And I'm going to take the e.l.f. primer and I'm going to apply this all over my lid, in my crease, pretty much all the way to my brow bone. I'm going to blend it out with my finger. Okay, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take soft brown and I'm going to apply that all over my eye, lid, crease, everything. And it's just to set the primer that I just put on my eye. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Max Saddle and I am going to apply that into my crease. And I'm going to attempt to do a rounded shape. Not necessarily, I would say kind of like an almond wing type of shape, almond eye shape. Something a little bit more round. Because I'm not going to be doing a wing eye today. Okay, to deepen my crease a little bit more, I'm going to take Coastal Sense Barista and I'm going to apply that a little bit lower than I applied Saddle. Okay, so for my lid color, I am going to use Sidecar from the First Naked Palette from Ur Urban Decay. Excuse me. I'm going to apply this color to my lid and slightly above it to make my eyes a little bit more whiter. And this color is like really pretty champagne-y shade with a little bit of pink in it. I'm just going to apply it here. And again, slightly above my lid in a round shape. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to intensify the lid color. I'm just going to take my e.l.f. 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 <laughs> Makeup Mist and Set. Spritz the um, brush that I was using for my lid. Really? Y'all saw that, right? Okay. And I'm just going to spritz that. And then I'm going to go back into Sidecar. And I'm just going to intensify it only in the middle. So, yeah, I'm let that settle in. And just right here in the middle. Okay, that's not going to work. So I'm going to go in with my makeup lock and seal. And I'm going to intensify it that way. And what this will also do is lock the shadow in its place where it won't bleed up. Because I've said this before on plenty of my videos. Um, the reason being I don't wear shimmer is because it pretty much moves all the way up to my brow bone. But this e.l.f. lock and seal um, pretty much keeps it in place. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to intensify it. 
blend that out okay so i'm going to deepen the crease and i'm going to take coastal sense burnt umber which is a dark brown but not too dark i don't want this to look like a smoky eye Just gonna go in a little bit more with my um, lid color because it looks like some of it came off right in this area. I'm just gonna add a little bit more. Came off when I was blending my crease. Okay, so I'm gonna take my Wet n Wild Gel Liner and I'm just going to line my lash line just a bit and that's only for my lashes that I'm going to apply later on off camera and I'm gonna take my favorite angle brush that I got from Michaels if you guys are beginner at doing gel liner eyeliner this is a really good brush to use and it was only like two dollars and fifty cents so I mean heck Okay, so now for my lower area, I'm gonna take NYX's Wonder Pencil in medium, and I'm going to apply this into my waterline to open my eyes up just a little bit more. Okay, so next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the eyeshadow Barista, and I'm going to apply this to my lower lash line just to even out the top and bottom. And I'm gonna use the same brush that I use for the top, for the bottom. I'm just gonna lightly blend it in. Okay, so next one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take Soft Brown. It's a very similar color to the Wonder Pencil and I'm gonna actually set the waterline color because my waterline does not like any type of nude shade, like disappears like that, so. In order for me to keep it like that, to keep the integrity of the look, I'm going to set it with some powder. Yeah. <laughs> Way too eager, right? I know. I know. I know. I'm a hot mess. Actually, I'm going to go in with a color that I got from Morphe. Um, I don't know the number of it, but I'm going to take that. That one's a little bit more closer. And I'm going to set the uh, waterline color. Okay, guys, so off camera, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the rest of my face. I'm going to uh, apply some lashes and I will be back. Okay, so I finished doing my foundations and my lashes. I don't know if you guys can tell. You probably can't, but I put them on backwards and I love them. They're more like long and fluttery in the inner corners and they're more small and tamed on the, out, on the outer corners. I freaking love that. <laughs> A fabulous mistake I know I know <laughs> but uh yeah so I'm gonna move on to blush I already added a little bit of my neutral blush to the high points of my cheek but just for the sake of the video I'm gonna add a little bit more blush and I'm gonna use um NYX's mocha which is like this pinky color I'm just gonna add a dab of that right in this area This little light of mine while well, I'm singing this song. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is highlight my high chink bones. And I'm going to use two today. I'm going to use the Ruby Kisses All Over Glow Bronzing Powder. And then I'm also going to use the Mary Lou Manizer. And the reason why is because this is a very light pinky look. And this is kind of gold. And I really don't want my cheeks to look too gold. So I'm just going to add a little bit of this without spraying it i'm just gonna add that to my fan brush i love this fan brush just to give it a little base you know you all about dabbing about dabbing stop jabbing let me stop for the focal point of the face i'm gonna be using kat von d's luv liquid lipstick i freaking love this thing And I'm going to apply this to the lips. Make sure I'm not the orange. How about that?
Okay, so finally what I'm gonna do is set everything and I'm gonna use, of course, my e.l.f. one. It's nice. Pretty much the same thing as the Mac one. Half the price. Okay, guys, so here is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, you know what you got to do. Give it a thumbs up. If you have yet to subscribe to my channel, make sure you click the subscribe button down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Ha, ha, ha.